welcome back to your daily dose and welcome to part two of uh, our Magic Kingdom Day and dining at Steakhouse 71, which in my opinion is one of the best restaurants here at Walt Disney World for the price and quality that you do get. It's absolutely, absolutely amazing. I don't really remember the last time I dined there at dinner, but um, you guys can kind of really see on how far ahead I had filmed and planned for uh, everything before you guys saw this video. So if you guys could do me a favor, hit the thumbs up button. My dad is still here, but when you guys see this video, he won't be, he'll be gone. So also another reason to thumbs up the video. Dad, you know when they see this video, you're gonna be gone? Oh. Isn't that, that sad? That is so sad. And it's your first day and you're gonna be gone yeah. when they see this. Oh boy, that's terrible. I'm gonna cry and shed a tear. <laughs> Don't do that. Isn't that nuts though? We're gonna head on off Tom Sawyer's Island. Look at this, it's crazy. It's like Fort Wilderness inside the Magic Kingdom. I'm gonna go hit some rides because today it's very empty inside the Magic Kingdom still. It's kind of crazy. Oh, watch your step, I just tripped. Are you jumping? This whole place is cool. Wiggles. Scale of 1 to 10, how hungry or excited are you for tonight? I am 10, excited and hungry for the delicious food. Right? I think that's me too. That's cool. I'm legit starving, but we kind of have <laughs> like four hours until then. Four hours. Actually five, sorry. Just an FYI guys, we have to wait for the ferry to cross. Or sorry, the river boat. <laughs> it technically looks like the ferry boat. They have right away, but it's actually kind of cool to see this close. I don't think I've ever started a vlog inside, like inside the Magic Kingdom. So this was like a first, especially when we were on Tom Sawyer's Island. Definitely a first. Now, even though my dad's not gonna be here in this exact moment when this is posted, I can guarantee you he'll be down below in the comments below reading every single one of your comments. Yes, I do that every, every day. Every single one. So leave a lot today. Yes. <laughs> Happy reading every single one. I try my best to read them all. Oh, you do, and you answer a lot of them. I, I do. do too. Nice but to read them, see how people are thinking. Appreciate it. Right now we're gonna get water. We need water. And coffee, I could go for some coffee. Little hack, if you head on in here to Pecos, they have a little water tray right here. So if you head on into Pecos, no need to ask, they have the water cups on deck. Super smart of them. You want to sit down? All right, let's sit down and watch the parade. I'll go get some coffee, something like that. Would you look at this? Three days until Christmas. But when you guys see this video, it's going to be like 366. <laughs> More than a year. No, it'll be like, what, 362? Something like that. Okay, so I'm on mission go get coffee because I need coffee. I haven't had coffee in like a couple days. Fireworks. I don't know if you guys could see that. It actually scared the crap out of me. Real quick guys, if you could uh, please just comment down below if you guys kind of like this because you saw part one a couple days ago. But again, the reason I do this is so that I can uh, like get a little bit more content out when my family's here. And it gives me some other days to kind of start planning videos while I do not shoot any videos. So please comment down below. I try not to do this. Try not to be back ordered with vlogs. Usually I film and they're up the next day. But that is not the case this time. There's just so much to do. So much to do. So please let me know down below if you guys like this. If not, I'll just revert back to try not to film ahead so much. Holy cow, there's no line for Starbucks right now. 
Unbelievable. This is awesome. Holy cow, that came so quick. That was like the quickest thing ever. Legitly, the fastest I've ever ordered Starbucks here at Magic Kingdom. Probably like two minutes of waiting. Impressive. Like, it's not packed at all today. It's so weird. And it's cold out, and I, I got iced coffee. I, I don't know what I'm doing today. Hi, Dad. Hi. <laughs> Some Starbucks? It's a ways. Festival of Fantasy You know, if you leave a little bit early, you get to kind of beat the crowds. But there's not really anybody here because it is like the last party night. Daddy getting hungry? Because I am. Yes, very hungry. Time to eat soon. Got about three hours left. A lot of you guys might not know this because we've been getting a lot of subscribers recently. I think we just recently passed, what are we at? Let's see here. Would you look at that? We just hit 168,000. Will we hit 170 for the end of the year? I don't know. But um, for those of you guys new, my dad is a clown. Professional clown. Professional the difference. And where do clowns belong? Oh, maybe a circus? A circus. Let's go to the circus real yes, quick. let's go. Let's go. Let's go! Storybook Circus. You're home. Yes. <laughs> this is my home. You can't take it off. Ah, uh, yes I will. You no, know, I'll keep it on. You can't keep it off. I can keep it on for Yeah, keep it on. Keep it on. He took it off! Put it back on, sir. Put it back on, you clown. Oh! While we're here, guys, um, let's check out the railroad here. Now, keep in mind, too, the railroad railroad has a new route with a tunnel through Tron. We'll be checking that out as soon as we possibly can. We might go on People Mover just to kind of see it, but I did just go, I did kind of see it go by with the cast members on board, which is kind of exciting. Here's actually a first look of Tron, sorry, of the railroad going through Tron. There's actually some little peak holes. That you can see like the queue and might get lucky enough to see a Tron coaster go by. It's pretty rad. Disney shared that on Disney Parks on their Instagram. It's still really hard to believe though that Tron has taken five years to build longer than the Magic Key and Kingdom it took to build. It's just crazy. Absolutely crazy. We've kind of just been looking back there. It's really exciting. Can't wait for that. Oh my goodness though, I totally forgot to mention this. So this news broke when you guys were here last time, but I haven't really covered it on my channel entirely, I don't think. But Space Mountain now is one of the rides here at Disney where you currently can't film. They've kind of banned vlogging on that ride. And when we were at the Christmas party, it was two days before they actually implemented that. If we head on over to Space Mountain right now, I think it might say inside the queue that you can't have a camera out and vlog that ride. You can't really see anything anyways, but I think it's more of a hazard if people have something in their hand and it falls. You can technically still do every other ride here at Disney, but I think it's because it's, you know, they want anything falling from a ride vehicle, especially on Space Mountain. So, do you know about that? Yeah. Yeah, I forgot to mention that, but vlogging is technically banned on uh, Space Mountain. Go figure, I'm, I'm here for that. Never really vlogged that one anyways, but you know, there's secure ways you can do it, but not everyone always follows those rules. 
Speaking of no vlogging rides, I'm pretty darn sure there's gonna be no vlogging or no filming, no cameras, no nothing on Tron. I think there's gonna be lockers where you can't film anything. It's kind of gonna be just like Velocicoaster in a way, but I heard a rumor that there's gonna be no filming on Tron as well. So Space Mountain and Tron, no filming, unless you maybe have a strap or a GoPro. No idea if there's gonna be a metal detector in there, but I feel like there's gonna be something like that implemented on Tron. So there's two rides right there at Disney that are no longer, no more filming. Rumored for Tron. But what do you guys think about that? Um, there's a lot to talk about in this video, but that's kind of something that I totally forgot to mention and bring on up. So voice your opinions down below, especially because dad's gonna be looking at every single comment. Uh-oh. It's getting cold? Yeah, a little damp. A little damp out, it's humidity out right now. There it is right there. Rider storage, handheld or loose articles, including cell phones, cameras, are not permitted while riding. So yeah, the no uh, filming, video recording, vlogging policy getting implemented on Space Mountain. I'm here for that, because I've heard really unsafe things about Space Mountain. That ride needs a refurbishment, a big refurbishment. Um, do you want to go on people mover? Yeah, let's go give it a ride. It's not really a line. No. It's pretty great. When you go on. That's a walk-on. Another walk-on. No work being done today, but we are going to get a good look at that railroad. Here she comes. I like the lights and how they're like curved. Can't wait for this ride. It's going to be so much fun. I love Mitron. Look at that. Isn't that cool? They've got a lot done. It's just taking too long. Got the trees all in. There's a look at the railroad right there. You see those windows? The windows. They'll be able to look at the line. This is always my favorite part. Because now is the time. Now is the best time to go out and explore tomorrow. Yeah, yes. you hear that? See you in the future. Yeah. Let's go explore tomorrow. Tomorrow was yesterday, but today could be tomorrow. So it was only a week ago to tomorrow. <laughs> yes. Said by a wise man. Well, that's pretty much going to conclude our Magic Kingdom Day. The crowds are definitely going to be piling on in because it's the last Christmas party and they're all allowed to come on into the Magic Kingdom. We're gonna head on over for dinner at Steakhouse 71. Can't wait, I'm starving. I've only had a uh, double bacon sandwich this morning from Starbucks, which is delicious, but... Ah, it's raining. Yes, it's drizzling. It's drizzling. I gotta get a bag for the camera. Anyways, let's head on over to the Contemporary. We have to go get our car. I mean, we could just walk over to the Contemporary, but we don't want our car to be stranded in the parking lot. So we're gonna head on over there to get it. It's so poopy out today. Look at that. Look at how it looks on camera. It's so white. Yeah. Oh, we got the fireworks. Woo! Hey, Dad. This way, this way. Look at, look at, oh my gosh, the wristband distribution. Last time we're gonna see that this year. Until next year. Until next year. The last Christmas party, everyone pouring on in. We did one. We did one. It was fun. It was a great time. Until next year, Christmas. Until next year, Christmas parties. You know what, guys? This is probably going to be our last Magic Kingdom vlog on our channel for 2022. Yeah. Now that I think about it, it's literally the last one because we'll already have gone here for another reason, but you guys have already seen that. This is the last one. Ah, what a year it's been. The park on the left side is closed. Again, that is the right hand side to exit the park, folks. Right hand side to exit the park. Say goodbye to Christmas, everyone. And we are here for return ECBs, strollers. We'll Bye, tree. Hello, Mr. Monorail. Good to see ya. Good to see ya.
Really quick, we're gonna get a good look at the new uh, Polynesian Hotel construction. The crane is up. Don't really, ooh, they have barbed wire. Rebar. Ooh, the foundation's getting kind of set a little bit. Okay, they're getting, they're getting somewhere. Oh my God, I can't wait for that either. You saw the foundation kind of getting set? Dad's cruising. We just got our reservations moved up to less than an hour now. Finally, food. Oh, he's running. Wow, Rocky Balboa. <laughs> that was funny. The contemporary. Ready to eat? I'm starving. Help. Help. The contemporary ladies and gentlemen. By the way, if you come around the Christmas time and you try to go to a hotel, you cannot go there unless you have a hotel reservation or hotel room stay. They're cracking down here around Christmas time just because there's a lot of cars, so makes sense. Had to come over here to get a shot of the tree. Now they don't have a tree inside the contemporary, if I if I remember right. This is the only tree that they have to this like magnitude. It's not real, by the way. It's just ginormous. It's so big. It's very tall. Yeah, like me, so tall. I'm sure they had a crane for that. Baby. Yeah, I think it's huge. Let's go feast. Let's go feast. Nice. Yeah, you could have parked here and then would have had a valet and parked your car. Cool. Yeah, that's cool. I've actually never valeted a car before. <laughs> Ever. In we go. I'm so hungry. I'll check us in on the app actually right now. Oh wow. My dad is hungry. He's already took the justice to walk on in. <laughs> oh man. I was like, where's dad? Oh, he's already walked in. Alright, let's go sit down somewhere. Now at dinner they have mood lighting. It's a little bit darker in there. So if you're struggling to see, turn up your brightness. I'll do the same on my camera. See how dark it is in there? Do you like the mood lighting? Yes, I like moodness. Makes the food taste better. Does it? Does it? We're like the first to uh, come on in. We're rope dropping dinner. I never really get a good uh, scan of this area because it's so busy and loud. Probably our best view of Steakhouse 71, yeah. Let's go. Here's a quick look at the menu. Now, like I said, Steakhouse 71, most of you guys know, but this is one of the most affordable, delicious places you can have on Disney property. I'm gonna be actually getting um, a Chapelot to pair with my filet. I already know what I want, but um, this uh, company is actually owned by the former CFO in 1984 to 1994. His daughter owns this winery. Frank Well was the CEO. His daughter actually owns that and that's actually something really good to pair with a filet. <laughs> Are you trying to get some lighting? Yeah. <laughs> it's dark in here. Um, here. What, kind of, what? I don't know what kind of appetizer was it. I don't know what that is. Yeah. Um, I really like that we pretty much have this whole place to ourselves right now because you guys can A, hear me. Um, the only thing we lack with is uh, the lighting right now, but here's a look at the menu. Quick look at my appetizers. I obviously got a shrimp cocktail, guys. Believe it or not, they didn't really have any of that on the Wish. And then um, I also got the brioche, which is butter roasted garlic tomato with some roasted garlic tomato spread. Potato brioche. Oh, that looks my dad good got now. The, uh, Steakhouse 71 <laughs> chopped salad. You have the Chapelet Mount Cuvée Cabernet Sauvignon from Napa Valley, which is a Bordeaux blend. It's a 68% Cabernet Sauvignon, 28% Merlot, 2% Cap Franc, and 2% Petit Verdot. Perfect. Mm -mm -mm. Shrimp cocktail for the win. You can't spell Kyle without shrimp. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mmm, mmm. Hit the spot. Sue, these are really good, Sue. 
<laughs> All right, my dad and I, we ordered the same entree. We got the filet, medium rare. I believe it was $36. I chose to get mac and cheese, of course. And then my dad got potatoes. I was so close to getting the mashed potatoes. <laughs> as far as the mac and cheese goes, it's like not as cheesy as I hope it would be. There's breadcrumbs on top, which is delicious. The steak, sorry, the filet paired with my wine, pretty delicious, just not as good as the Disney Wish. I just remember how it just enhanced so much. It was incredible. But overall, 8 out of 10. By the way, I also got the mushroom sauce. That's a must do. It's like the most popular one here. It's delicious. Now that is some good nummy food. Now I did say inexpensive, but I think our whole total was 142, so pretty expensive to say the least. But I really wish the mac and cheese was a little bit better. That's my only critique. Everything else was fabulous. I don't think it's worth it to get that mac and cheese there. So with that, everybody, that is gonna be it for your guys' daily dose. Yes. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll yes, see you tomorrow. You. Yes. Appreciate all of you. We'll see you soon. Read your comments. Thanks for coming along with us. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. It's a new ending, by the way. Bye-bye. This tree looks even better. Yeah, it looks nice. At night, wow.